We are back. Out of the park baseball 22. We are ready to play our wild card game against the Milwaukee Brewers. But first, if you haven't listened, listen to our podcast, uh, football, a podcast where we talk about football. Um, I know this is a baseball game, baseball channel, kind of, but hey, if you like football, give it a listen. Uh, link is in the description. But that's all we're going to talk about that this episode. We're talking about the Brewers against the Buckos. So I thought about simming it, uh, simulating it last night. Decided, you know what, we're going to play this, and we're going to we're going to play as is. So I figure the content <clears throat> it'll be. Oh, I just couldn't imagine simulating the game and then uh, us losing and have that be the video. So I'm going to play it, even though we haven't played as well when we've uh, actually played the games, but. Um, our lineup is has the advantage. Or th- even though they the though this Brewers team rakes righties, we are throwing our, our right hander uh, Chris Paddock. Uh, they struggle against lefties, but we don't really have any. That's been our problem for a couple years now in this simulation. We have uh, Stephen Alamaze. He is uh, injured day to day. Alec Thomas on a cold streak. Uh, they also have two players who are injured as well, Luis Urias and then Hedbert Perez um, as well. So a little bit banged up, issues with both teams, but we also hit lefties way more than righties. So um, um, this could be a, a, an issue here, and we're, we're playing on the road, which we've had problems with as well this year, and they're good at home. So I'm a little nervous going into it, but let's uh, let's get it on, as they say. I gotta change my volume here because I know that's gonna. There we go. Volume should be changed now. All right, so. All right, here we go. Nick Madrigal up to bat first. <laughs> let's see what we got. I mean, Freddie Peralta takes the mound. I mean, we've set this up enough, so let's start playing with it. Oh, this is the best Pirates team we have. I, we, I am desperately want to win this game. I've been putting off recording this because I've just been so afraid of losing. As long as we don't record, I can stay in purgatory. Whoa, look at this. What is... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so I have, I have not played a game. <laughs> so I have not played a game since I've upgraded to Big Sur. And apparently that's what I needed to do in order to make this... A smooth playthrough. Whoa, my mind is blown. Oh, if I we just updated the the operating system earlier, it might have been a, a oh, I wouldn't have had so many issues when we had playthroughs. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. And the animations look sick when uh, they're like this. So I maybe I updated the game. I don't think so. I think it was Big Sur because I haven't played a game since that update. But all right, so that's the ground out. I couldn't even focus on that. Oh, these animations are beautiful. Wow, this is great. Now I understand. Now I see it wasn't a step back. My computer just couldn't handle it. Well, I take back everything I said about the to the out-of-the-park team on that one. Uh, yikes. <clears throat> All right, so a single by Seth Beer. Um, Madrigal, I think, grounded the short or second, one of the two. Uh, I was too shocked by the animations. But Blade up, 0-1 count. And that's going to be a double play. Nope, he's going to beat it out. All right. Uh, looks like Beer broke up the double play. So now our boy uh, Alec uh, Baum. First pitch he sees. Oh, that that's in the gap. Oh, these animations, I can't get over it. Come on, I'm sending you home. That's right, that's right. Okay, a triple <laughs> for Alec Baum. I guess they're going to give him a double, and then he advanced on the throw. So, all right. <clears throat> Top of the first. We are putting pressure on him. Now, uh, Alec Thomas on a cold streak. Runner at third, two outs. This could be this could be a big one. Still can't get over these animations. That was beautiful when they hit. Okay, Alec Thomas with a base knock up the middle. That's a run scored. Pirates are up 2 nothing. I'm like so shook in a good way right now. I haven't. I don't think I've had my expectations surpassed like this in a long time. Uh, but they're beautiful. Like that hit into the gap was was great. The ball trajectory was awesome. Um, yeah, that was so sweet. 
Um, but anyways, Alec Thomas, first base, uh, two down, 2-2 two, two count. And uh, that was, who was that? Oh, Senzel. Senzel going down. So now Paddock, who is on fire. Let's see if he can keep it up. Uh, Rogers, our lefty, uh, who has started, who's gone into the starting rotation this year, he is slightly tired. So we will keep him around just in case we, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll throw him today. I mean, he's not like exhausted, so he has a little bit, he has a little bit in him. So if we need a lefty, we will not be afraid to go to him. But let's hopefully Paddock can stay on his hot streak. And there we go. That's going to be a uh, pop out to Matt. I feel like I'm playing an entire new game here now. Full count to Yelich. He got to get Yelich out. Oh, you got to limit the damage he can do. Okay, I guess it's not the worst. Uh, but Keston Harris is having a, such a great year. He could tie this game up with a swing. One, two, count. Get him. Yes, there we go, baby. Down down one inning, two, nothing. Buckos in the wild card game. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> All right, Cabrian, first pitch. We're not, we're not taking him deep into counts here, which... Oh, dang, okay. Oh man, this is unbelievable! This this animation. I feel bad. I I feel bad for everyone who's watching it, but I this ultimately makes me feel even more grateful for everyone that is watching it and is stuck with the series. Uh, thank you because the quality of this versus what we've been playing has just been night and day difference. It's further than night and day. It's like year to year difference. Um, so thanks for continuing to watch. I had no idea this was the difference here. It was so great. But Carson Kelly, one-two count. He's going to single into right field. And that brings up our injured uh, Alamaze. So, first pitch. Again, first pitch. So, oh, 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 that's a single. Oh, first, oh, I was going to say, first to third on that for Carson Kelly would have been a little bit of a stretch. But, okay. So, Madrigal, first and second. One out. Anything I would I would literally take anything but a double play here. One one count. Oh, he's gonna he might beat that out. He's gonna beat that out. There we go. Base is loaded for Seth Beer. <clears throat> All right, twenty six pitches so far. Um, again, that's a low number for the amount of people we've had on base. So, all right, uh, base is loaded. One out. I'm curious to know what Seth Beer's double play percentage is this, this year, but we're, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to have him hit, baby. One, two, count. Oh, no. Beat it, Seth. Okay. They only got one. Ugh. Okay, two outs. That changed the whole complexion of this inning for them. But Blade, one of the league's top power hitters this year, OPS of 891, two, two, count. Ah, oh, that's brutal. That's baseball. The time you least want to strike out like that. That could have changed. That could have broke open the entire game right there. So, all right, down uh, halfway through the second frame here. Paddock swinging a miss. I like that. <laughs> One two count for your eyes. Who's banged up for them? And he's gonna ooh ground out. To Alamaze, it's short. <clears throat> I feel like that would have been a single for other players playing. Um, it's short. Uh, but Alamaze has a great defense. So Jackie Bradley Jr. Hit a one, hitting 199. He's going to get walked. Oof. Uh, Peyton Henry. 1-2 count. Strike three. Whew, that was a... That looked a little outside to me, but we'll take it. So 36 pitches for Peralta. We want to get into that bullpen. We want to get into that bullpen. Um... Uh, Peralta is um, through two, 36 pitches, two nothing buckos on six hits. And that's a leadoff walk for uh, Baum. Uh, leadoff walks lead to good things when you're the hitting team. Uh, Alec Thomas, 3 1 count. He's going to walk. All right, now we're getting to Peralta here. Now we're getting to him. Uh, Senzel, 0 2 count. Yep, I figured that might happen. All right, Cabrian Hayes, first pitch he sees, he's going to hit into a double play, it looks like. Yep, and the threat is gone. And I'm not even going to, yeah, you know what, I'm not even going to say it. 
Uh, so, got the bottom of the order here with uh, with Nick Ahmed, Chris Paddock, Annie Bunce for a hit, and it doesn't work out. So now Hedbert Perez, who's a little banged up as well, they're DH and a two one count. He is going to knock in a single, and uh, the no hitter is broken up. But it's I mean it's only we're only part way through the second inning, so it's not a huge deal. Oh, a miss hit gets one at second. Oh, nice play by Carson Kelly. There you go, a little dribbler. Most players would have just taken that out at first, but uh, aggressive play by Kelly and got him. So let's see, Yelich, another little dribbler here. He beats it out. Dang. So Paddock is making him, making him uh, earn it. I hate being in this. Okay, thank you for making that catch. I was going to say I hate being in the two-run kind of window there because it, it, I think it seems like a bigger lead than it really is, two runs, because you get someone on base. It literally takes one swing of a bat to change the game. Um, so I like to at least be in the three, you know, Obviously, more runs the better, but I hate that two-run um, cushion because it, it's a bigger lead, or it seems to be a bigger lead than it really is. So now we got to start thinking about bullpen here. Peralta coming out firing the inning, one-two count for Madrigal. Uh, is that gonna get behind him? That's gonna get behind him. That's a double. That might even be a triple. Let's go. Nope. Okay. That's ultimately smart. You never want to make the first or third out at third base. So, all right, Seth Beer, give it, give us a three-run lead, or four-run lead even, but three-run lead would be great. Mm, dang. Okay, all right, all right. Make Peralta throw a couple more pitches. All right, 53 pitches for uh, Paddock, so we got to start keeping an eye on that. Uh, 0-2 count to Marza. Oh, get some look in. Luis Urias, 0-1 count. Mm, that's a double. It might be a triple. Get the ball in. Double, okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. All of a sudden, boom, they are... It's a threat now. It's a legitimate threat. Uh, Jackie Bradley Jr., 1-1 one, one count. That should be a root team play. They're not going to tag up to third. It was pretty shallow and right. All right, so Peyton, uh, Peyton Henry here, 2-2 two, two count from Paddock. And that looks like it's going... Oh, my God, what? Why was he... I thought that... It looked like he's going to be a routine ball, and he's dogging it. It looked like Senzel was dogging it there. <sighs> okay. All right. One run. It's okay. Ahmed. Get Ahmed. Okay. There we go. Still, Still got the lead here. Okay, so, all right, Blade, meat of our lineup is coming up. Blade hit list this game 0 for 2. Uh, Peralta, 66 pitches here through four innings. Uh, Blade with a 1 2 count, and he's going to go down looking. Now, Baum, 3 1 count. Can he take a walk here? Uh, nope, he's going to fly out to center. And now that brings up Alec Thomas, who's one in, who has 1 2 count. And can he beat first base? Oh, okay. All right. So now, oh, man. Oh, man. Let's get our bullpen warming up here. Matt Hall will warm him up. And we will warm up. Jackson Reese as well. So, okay. Paddock, get through get through five here, brother. Get through five. Let's go. Okay. That should be an out. Okay, very good. Don't scare me there. Ahmed Rosario. They're jumping on him now. It's a little bit worrisome. That's a single. Christian Yelich. O2 oh, count. Please get him sweet. Yes. Okay, that was big. Keston Hara, 34 home runs. Don't make it 35. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Tying run on second base now. <laughs> Full count. 
Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, what a play. Alame's deep in the hole. Gets him. Let's go. <laughs> oh, as soon as that came off the bat, I thought that was a – I thought that had left field RBI single written all over it. All right. So our guys up are – our guys are ready. We're going to sit them down. We didn't need them that inning, but we're going to bring them back up there because I think we're going to need them sooner than later. All right, Peralta threw five, 79 pitches. Let's see if we can get to him this inning. That would be that would be awesome. 3-1 uh, count. Senzel's going to knock a base hit into right field. All right, there we go. We have to start thinking about pitch hitting and defense. I mean, I think our, our best defenders are our starters, which is a, a plus to our lineup. But we need to start thinking about, are we going to pinch hit anybody here? But, all right, Cabrian Hayes up to bat. 1-0 count. Mmm... Oh, great play. Great play by Jackie Bradley. Now do I send do I send a sends or do I do a or do I uh, you know commit to a hit and run or something like that? I think I'm going to. I'm going to hit and run. I'm going to hit and run here. Let's see. Oh, one count. Oh, that was that was good. Took away the double play. Okay, I got a little excited there. I don't know if it was that good. I thought he might have got a single out of it. All right. Alamaze up to bat. 3-1 count. He didn't go. He didn't go. That's a walk. There we go. All right, Madrigal, Mr. No Strikeouts. This is the time to live up to that name and get. let's get a base knock here. Full count. Oh, no. All right, let's go back into the bullpen here. We have a lefty, righty, lefty, and then a bunch of righty. So we're going to bring up Reese again, who should be, yeah, he should be good. Matt Hall. All right, let's get Marza here. 3-1 count. Okay, all right. Luis Urias. First pitch. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, he's tagging. He's safe. All right, Jackie Bradley. All right, Paddock is at 90 pitches here. Is there any benefit to him pitching? I would love to, for him to get out of this inning. But here's the thing. If I bring in Reese, I have a lefty, then I have two righties. I mean, I only need two more outs. And then I would have, and then that next inning would start righty, lefty, righty, lefty, so you don't get any platoon advantage there. And with Matt Hall, say we bring him in right now to get the lefty out, then we're dealing with two righties in a row. And although they're at the bottom of the lineup, that, that still may be worrisome to bring him in for Paddock. So we're going to pitch Paddock. We're going to try to get, we're going to, it, or at least get him to get this out. Um, we'll see. One, two count. Yes, big, big out. Now do we bring in a Reese? That means we only we only need one out. We have two righties up. 94 pitches. <sighs> I think that we... Let me just see here. 60, 60, 60 are his ratings against righties. Paddock. Just curious here. All right. We're going to let Paddock go. He's our stud. We're going to trust him to get one more out. One, two count. Get it over there. Yes, Okay. We're through six, baby. We are through six, and we are holding on to a uh, one-run lead, and I'm barely holding on to my bowels right now. So, all right. Peralta still in the game at 100 pitches. Uh, Seth Beer up to bat. Full count. That's going to be a walk. There we go. There we go. I like that. 
making him work for it here. Now J.J. Blade, one of the best sluggers in the NL this year, 0 for 3. Let's see if he can turn that around. 1-0 count. Ah, oh, he's going to fly out to right. Or is that going to drop? Nope, fly out. Okay, so one out. Seth Beer, who's not noted for his uh, prowess on the base path, is on first. And Alec Baum up to bat, 0-2 count. Ugh, dang. Okay, all right. Alec Thomas could use a big hit out of you, my friend. And so, okay, our next righty, lefty, righty, lefty. We're going to go with the best, our best pitcher. So we're going to get Jackson Reese up. Um, okay, he's ready, so that's good. So Alec Thomas, 2-0 count. Ooh, get, get. Oh, I thought that was going to fall into the corner at first. So, all right. I'm, yeah, it's time for uh, for Paddock to come out. But Jackson Reese is the all-around better pitcher, I believe. Let me just make sure of that. Let me just see. Does he have any ability versus lefty? Okay. Oh, he's actually better against lefties. What the fuck am I doing? How did I not notice? I'm an idiot. Guys, I'm an, thank you for following this series because I'm an idiot sometimes. All right, Jackson Reese. <sighs> Could he get through? No, there's no way he gets through three innings but he could get through two though not 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 throwing a full count your first your first hitter here oh not a walk no the worst thing for a reliever to do is come in and throw a walk oh <clears throat> the pitcher's best friend look at that little jump animation there from madrigal at second base that is a pitcher's best friend that changes the game big time Another full count. Jackson, we're trying to get you through two innings here, man. You can't just keep throwing. 2-1 pitch to Yelich. God, here we go. All right. Get Keston out. No, oh, fuck me. Uh, it's brutal. Two-run double. Down three to two now. <clears throat> oh, that's brutal. That is so brutal. All right. Senzel up to bat. Haters in the game now. Hey, we mashed lefties. This is our time to shine. One-two count. Get, drop, drop. Oh, he made that. It looked like he trapped it. <clears throat> All right, Hayes. Uh, what do we have coming up? Okay, we need to... Should get another righty work in here. We'll go Thomas, Tommy Doyle. We'll go Brew Baker as well. Carson Kelly, give us something here. One, two count. Oh, man, that is brutal. All right, Jackson Reese. Walks, that'll do it. That'll do it. Fucking walks. All right, you got to keep it to one run, though. We can't get, we cannot let them score again. We cannot. All right, that's two outs. All right, we'll give you one more here against Peyton Henry. Can you get two? Okay. Oh, man. All right, here it is. Steven Alame is up to bat. This is our last opportunity here to win the game. Uh, we got to pinch hit for Alame as we have to. There's uh, no two ways about it. Uh, and I believe... <sighs> Do we go with Cole Tucker against lefties? He's just fine, I guess. Swaggerty. I feel like he's not good against lefties, though, if I remember. I think he's better than Tucker. What about Nick Gonzalez? 
All right, Nick Gonzalez is decent against lefties, so I think this is for the, I was going to say rookie, but now it doesn't look like he's a rookie anymore. So, all right, Nick Gonzalez, come on in, brother. We need a run. Can you help us manufacture it? Oh, one, two, count. Oh, oh, yes, 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 go two, go three. Come on, come on, come on. Can you go three? Okay, two. There we go. Huge, huge, huge. All right, so we have Magical up. Do not make the first or third out at third base. Do not make no, there's no reason to sack. Okay, let's think through this. Uh, if we bunt... If we bunt and Gonzalez gets out, he's not see he's not a threat really. He's low speed, decent steal rating. But if we bunt and he's out at third, our it's de it's devastation. It's devastation, complete and total devastation. Now, if we bunt and we move him to third, that means almost anything will That means almost anything will score him. Other than, but here, there, here, here's here's the rub. So we have we bunt we use magical to bunt Gonzalez over. Say he gets to third, then we have Seth Beer come up. Who is I believe he's known to strike out. Uh, I mean we could always pinch hit for sure, but yeah he has. Uh, I mean it's not terrible strikeout numbers, but. And then if you get him to third and Beer or whoever's up next strikes out against Hader, then you've given up an out because then you then the then uh, the then the uh, the bunt or the squeeze or the sack it's out of the, off the table now. And you've and I don't want to use my best hitters just to bunt. All right, so we're not going to bunt. We're going to play straight up. Magical's going to swing. Let's go. 3-0 pitch. Ooh, they, is this an intentional walk here? Oh, coming in with this pitch high, ball four. Maybe they didn't mean to. But this makes things interesting now. Haters getting a little bit long in the tooth here. Let's see, Beer, how's he do against lefties? I mean, okay. Not worth pinch hitting for. He can hold his own. Oh, I just don't want to double play. Do I put on a hit and run, though? Or just... How many... T what's his double... I know we t I made a joke about this before, I think, for him this game. But let's just look at his... How many times is he... Um, let's see. Two on. Scoring position. It's 358. Runners on first and second, 359. OPS and 980. <clears throat> Eight strikeouts. Okay. I mean, he, he hits well when there's runners when there's runners on first and second. OPS over a thousand. Spray chart. <clears throat> if I want to see just the ground outs. Yeah, they're all on the right side. We have Magical there who can move. So maybe we won't get a double play there. I'm just going to trust him to not, with Magical on first, to not hit into a double play. I'm gonna trust him to I'm gonna trust Magical to beat it out if it comes to it. So we're gonna let Beer swing. I just hate giving up outs. I hate giving up outs or making potential dumb plays. So we're gonna let Beer hit. 2-2 two, two count. Okay. Alright. So I mean that was essentially a bunt. Um he ground out the first base, magical now at second and third. So now we have to start the defense is playing in right now. And we have to start thinking about well, what happens if we get if we get back um, if we score a run here? We'll think about that after we do it. But all right, they're leaving Hater in, who is exhausted at this point. Let's see how Bladé. I think Bladé does better against the lefties if I'm 
if I remember correctly. Okay, not better, but um, just, again, just as well almost. So, all right. I mean, there's nothing to really think about here. We're not, oh, well, I mean, do we squeeze? Do we squeeze? I just feel like that would be dumb when anything, almost anything here scores Nick Gonzalez. Almost anything. So we'll let him swing. Just don't strike out, Bladé. One, two, count. Just don't strike out. Oh, fuck. All right. That was literally the last thing we could do. All right. B bomb is up. Bottom of the ninth. Hater is still up to bat or up to pitch. Bomb. Yeah, he hits lefties hard. Magical at second. Gonzalez. This is, I mean, this is <laughs> as dramatic as you can get right now. Pirates down to their final out. Gonzalez on third. Nick Madrigal on second. The best Pirates team we have ever fielded is, has one out remaining. In the, bo or the top of the ninth, down one run. Alec Baum up to bat. Hitting 290 this year, 25 home runs, 839 OPS. Hader, a incredible lefty, struggled here in the top of the ninth. He's exhausted. He's thrown 34 pitches. He's laboring at this point. Boom, bomb. I'm gonna mess that up forever. Bomb uh, mashes lefties. Let's see. Let's sim it. First pitch. Oh, there. I built all that up for a, for a walk. So now Alec Thomas. Oh man, Alec Thomas. Oh, they're bringing in a new pitcher. This bases loaded. Alec Thomas, who's on a cold streak right now. Let's see how he hits against righties. I mean, good shit. That's good shit. We're not going to pinch hit for him. Um, he is on a cold streak though. He has a hit this game. Has an RBI this game. Let's see what. How does he hit with the bases loaded? I mean, this is pr probably such a small sample size; it doesn't even matter. Uh, runners on bases loaded. He's two fourteen hitter. Ooh. 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 I don't like that. What the hell? What the hell? Screw it. Dance with the one who brung is, my dad says. Drew Rasmussen now takes the field. I'm not even going to look at his stats. Bases loaded. Here we go. Season on the line for the Pirates. 1-1 one, one pitch. 1-1 one, one count. Oh! Oh, he hits it! That's one run. That's two runs. The Pirates take the lead. The Pirates take the lead. Are you freaking kidding me? Let's go. Go. Oh. oh. Woo! Holy crapola. All right. We can bust it open right now. All right. Well, now we got to start getting uh, our bullpen up. We have a righty, lefty, righty, lefty. Um, let's check out. I mean, it's there's two outs. We got to do it now. Um. Okay, who's our best pitcher? How's Wyman been this year? Not great, judging on his war. Travis McGregor. I feel like he's an option to get up here. Matt Hall. Yeah, I don't like Matt Hall as much. I feel like Tommy Doyle. We need to get Tommy up. Tommy Doyle. <clears throat> he's our setup guy. He needs to be. He needs to get up. Ronzi. Do we throw our boy Ronzi in there? Ugh, yikes. I want to have two pitchers going at the time. JT Brubaker. K. 
Okay. Bednar's on a cold streak. Trevor Rogers is. Oh, man. We're going to do it. We are going to bring up. We're going to. Trevor Rogers is going to warm up. No, I didn't mean to do that. Trevor Rogers is going to warm up, as is Tommy Doyle. We are getting Trevor Rogers up, even though he's a little bit tired. But, okay, let's see if we can add on. Any runs we add on here would be so huge. Senzel, 0-2 count, come on. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, this is it. 4-3, bottom of the ninth. Oh, yeah, we have to figure out what, what the hell we're doing here with Nick Gonzalez. Can he play short at all? Yeah, I don't want to find out. So we're going to go, we're going to bring Cole Tucker, who can play second and third well. Um, can, who do we have at second? Madrigal. Can he play short at all? I, okay, he can. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put Madrigal at short. Then we're going to come in and bring Cole Tucker in for Nick Gonzalez. And we're going to put him at second. I know we're taking a little bit of a dip at shortstop here, but Cole Tucker is better at... I just need to go back. Yeah. Yeah. He's better at second than he is. He's much better at second than he's at short than Madrigal is worse at short than he is second, if that makes sense. So we'll leave them there. Okay, so we have it. So we're going to go back to the game. Oh, my. What a freaking recording here. All right, Chad. We got old Chad Spangburner. So let's see. Left-handed hitter. It's a little bit worse against lefties than righties. Then we have a lefty coming up af after him who you may think would... who may get pinch hit for. I'm going to see if we can visit the mound here. All right, changing pitcher. Trevor, we're going with you, brother. We are going with you here. Oh, my. All right, Trevor. Trevor. One, two, count. I know you're tired. Lead us. Lead us to the win here. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. All right. Hedbert Perez. We need a strikeout. We need a strikeout. Good, good. Ahmed Rosario, we can't bring. Oh, that's the thing. I was really hoping for that out there. 2-2 two, two count. Get a strikeout. Okay, okay, that's good. We can go to Tommy now. We've he's pitched his three batters. Ooh. Oh, he's exhausted. He only had three in there. All right, all right. We'll bring him in. We'll bring him in. Would like to put you in there. Would like to leave you in there against Yelich, but this could have been this could be a mistake. You know, those watch mojos. Ten decisions that ten worst decisions ever. This could be one of those where I take out Rogers and put in Tommy Doyle if he gives up a shot here to Yelich, but let's hope that doesn't happen. All right. One out left. O2 count. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yes! Woohoo! Tommy Doyle comes in. Oh yes, the Pirates win the NL wild card game. Holy balls. Wow, look at that. Two in the top of the first, two in the top of the ninth. <laughs> oh, man. Needed some smart maneuvering throughout. What a fucking game. Pardon my French. Um, Paddock, six strong, six Ks. No, I don't know if I'd say strong. Yeah, 61 game score. That's not bad. Peralta had a good game. Reese with the win. Uh, and the blown save, he doesn't deserve much praise. Rogers deserves, he is, he's reached hero or legend status in Pittsburgh coming in, short rest, throwing two-thirds innings, getting a strikeout. 
And then Alec Thomas entered the game on a cold streak. Entered the game on a cold streak. Hits a two RBI. He scores or uh, hits in two runs with two outs. Just an unbelievable inning that ninth was. <sighs> All right. All right. So that means we advance. And we will look at who we advance next episode. Man, we did it. We freaking did it. Oh, at least we got a series now, boys. We got a series now. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging with me. I know this was a longer episode, but, man, that was high drama. I'm glad I played that now. Even if we lost, I'd been glad we played it because that was intense. But thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode. And on to the NLDS we go. See you later, guys.